हेलो एवरीवन यह हमारे रोमांटिक एज के मेजर नॉवेलिस्ट के वीडियोस के पार्ट टू है इसमें हम जेन ऑस्टिन के बाद डिस्कस करेंगे फिफ्थ डेनियल डिफो फ्रॉम 1660 टू 1731 थर्टी वन ही वॉज प्राइमरली फेमस फॉर हिज रिव्यूज हिज रियल नेम वॉज डेनियल फो बट ही एडेड डी टू मेक हिज नेम लुक एरिस्टोक्रेटिक डेनियल डिफो सपोर्टेड विलियम थर्ड against the charges of xenophobia that is being an outsider defo praised him in his famous poem the true born englishman written in 1701 a satirical poem that defends king william iii some of his major works are robinson crusoe 1719 it is a first novel in picaresque tradition picaresque novels are a novel which deals with a hero without a vision hero is a wandering rogue who develops his identity or characteristics while he is on journey robinson crusoe is a bad son who is disobedient and doesn't respect his father his father forces him to join the business but he runs away and hides himself in a ship and sails away the ship gets destroyed by the storm and crusoe survives he finds himself casted on an island which is empty he is the one who lives there being alone on the island crusoe doesn't surrender against the odds of nature he makes his hut having put to it securing the boundaries and in fact colonizing the colony he stayed there for approximately 17 years and in the first routine and then again the next 13 years after he came back to england when crusoe is totally frustrated he finds a big foot size mark and he feels that he is not alone he chases to find the foot mark and he finds that they are cannibals and they are trying to burn a man alive crusoe fires the bullet and saves the man and names him friday captain singleton 1720 memoirs of cavalier 1720 mall flanders 1722 a picaresque style story the novel is based partially on the life of mall king a london criminal whom defo met while visiting newgate prison it is a picaresque style story having a female protagonist she was the daughter of a criminal and was born in the prisoner after the age of 12 she starts surviving goes for various affairs and even the prostitution and makes her identity in society rokshana the fortunate mistress 1724 six writer tobias mollet 1721 to 1771 He was from Scotland. He was a surgeon by profession. He was best known for picaresque novels. Some of his major works: The Adventures of Roderick Random, seventeen forty-eight. It deals with his own experience as a naval surgeon. It is also a picaresque novel based on Don Quixote, a famous character developed by a Spanish writer Cervantes. second the adventures of peregrine pickle 1751 it is a satire peregrine peregrine pickle is a very or highly egotistical character who experiences luck and misfortune in the height of 18th century european society third the expedition of humphrey clinker written in 1771 it is an epistolary novel Seventh, Lawrence Stone, seventeen thirteen to seventeen sixty eight. He was an Irish, Anglo Irish novelist. Tristram Sandy, or the Life and Opinions of Tristram Sandy, gentleman, seventeen fifty nine, known as the first postmodern novel. It is written in modern and postmodern techniques. It has a double entendre, shift narrative, frame narrative, and oblique narrative. it consists nine volumes hero takes birth in volume 
second work a sentimental journey through france and italy written in 1768 novel can be seen as an epilogue to the tristram sandy